Yo. What's up? What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Hanging out, chilling. I'm in Buffalo. And uh, I'm in Buffalo. Just come hang out. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bunch of bubbles, my nose. Did that look cool? I just farted, did you hear that? As I turned, I farted. <laughs> I'm Maddie Matheson, and this is Dead Set on Life. I'm here on the beautiful Niagara Boulevard in Fort Erie. Across from me, do you see, do you see that? Across from me, we got downtown Buffalo, New York. Some people say the armpit of America. I don't like that term. You know what I like? The beautiful Buffalo, New York. What's the matter with that? I've been going to Buffalo for a long time. But you know what? Growing up in Fort Erie, a few other things drew me to Buffalo, New York. Hardcore music. Let's go, Buffalo! Food. This is so good. Football games. What surrounds a football game? Tailgating. I'm going to eat. That's the world I live in. It's what I care about. I love Buffalo, New York. This is dead set on life. No. As much as I love Buffalo, there's no denying it's gone through some tough times. In the first half of the 20th century, it was a booming industrial center and a large part of the automobile revolution. But a rapid decline in manufacturing and steel production led to a shrinking population and a severe economic downturn. Since then, the city has always been a bit of an underdog, and so has its football team, the Buffalo Bills. They made history in the early 90s with four consecutive Super Bowl losses in a row, earning them the reputation as one of the most unlucky teams in the NFL. But the tougher things get for Buffalo, the harder Buffalonians cheer, and nowhere is that more evident than at the infamous Bills tailgates. I've been invited to take part in one of these pregame parties at the Hammers Lot, located right beside Ralph Wilson Stadium, the home of the Bills. It's only one of two stadiums in the NFL that are in neighborhoods of rural towns, which makes it perfect for tailgating. This game is especially important because it's the home opener and Buffalo will be facing off against their division rivals, the New York Jets. I'm meeting up with Pinto Ron. He's hosted a tailgate party at every single Bills home and away game since 1994 and has offered to show me the ropes. Pinto? Hey, yeah. How are you been? I'm doing great so far. Yeah? Things could get worse. So this, what is this? Tell, talk about oh, the, yeah, the this Pinto. Is a, this is the Pinto? This is why I'm here. Yeah, I... I, uh, is, I need to see the Pinto. Yeah, this is a... It's kind of like a portable barbecue. I drive it in here and we actually cook on the car itself. Right. Uh, like six girls going on the car. It's not what I cook. It's right. how I cook it. Growing up, I lived 20 minutes away. Right. I've never been to a Buffalo Bills game in my life. Why? How did that I, happen? I don't know. We used to have parties all the time for Bills games, mm -hmm. but we never ever for some reason came to a Bills game or a tailgate. Yeah, that's bad parenting. It's bad, right? <laughs> Steve, yeah. tell Steve he's an asshole. Steve, that's bad parenting. <laughs> so this lot, this has a little bit of a story and a little bit of a vibe here. Oh, it does. This is called the Hammer Lot. I have a bunch of uh, buddies that have tried to get in a, here for years and can't get in it's here. All, it's called the Hammer's Lot because a guy named Hammer owns it. So yeah. is Hammer around? Uh, yeah, I saw him walking around. Yeah, he's over there. There's Hammer over there. OK. Hey, Hammer! H Hammer! So Hammer. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about the history and like the vibe? Because this is like the most well-known tailgating lot in Buffalo. Yeah. Well. Uh, 
I've owned this lab for 32 years. The people just don't come out to drink. They're out here to eat, and they eat very well. You can't have a better time. It's like a picnic back in the community parks and stuff. Yeah. So I see that people are already filled up in the yeah. lot next to you, and this one is still empty. Like, when do people start showing up for, well, for the game? Well, with this game, it's kind of unusual because being on a Thursday and 8.45. And a working day today. And, yeah, and a working day. And obviously, if they can afford a uh, somebody's Class A, RVs, yeah. they're not working. Yeah, so yeah. They, got, they got plenty of time to enjoy themselves ahead of time. Do you pride yourself on like the Hammers lot being a working class lot? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. This is the people's people's lot. Yeah, you could come here hungry and broke yeah. and leave here happy and content and yeah. with oh, a full yeah. belly. Oh, you can, you can invite giving. yourself to any tailgate party around here with no problem at all. Tailgating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful. I like. You're this. kind of a chef, aren't you? I'm, I'm a chef. Yeah, I'm, a kind, I'm kind of a chef. So, so you're gonna try something over here? Do you think I should cook? Yeah, I think you should. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. I can cook. Short notice. Do we need a fire? It's tomorrow. Somebody? I gotta cook. I'll whip something up. I'm going to be cooking some food at the Buffalo Bills home opener tailgate. My Buffalonian friend Andy Williams has offered to take me to some classic food spots for inspiration. He's a guitarist in the seminal Buffalo hardcore band, Every Time I Die. They're playing a show tonight, so I'm heading there to see what he has planned for a Western New York culinary tour. These guys are a reputation of, of people from Buffalo in general. Blue collar, they're all normal guys. They are the essence of, of Buffalo, in my opinion. Right. You know, they are the hometown team. They've consistently changed, they've grown and stuff like that, their sound and everything else. Bill's not so much. Let's go, Buffalo! Uh, Maddie, I don't know where he is, but let's film it here for the Bills game. We thought, we thought what better way to truly capture sadness and depression than sending it to a Bills game. This song is about Buffalo Bills fans. It's called Awful Lot. How are you, man? Are you good? Yeah, I'm real good. Oh, buddy. I can't f up this tailgate. I've never been to a tailgate. I'm gonna just say this, man. Like, I don't think there are tips. I think you just do what you want. What oh. can we do? Buffalo is known for Salem's hot dog. So we need a Salem's hot dog. We need a Salem's hot dog. We need beef on wick. Beef on wick. That's Nobody what knows what the f that is outside yeah. of Buffalo. We'll explain that. We'll explain that. Buddy, I'll see you later. Good seeing you, buddy. Hi, Andy. Hey, look at this guy. How are you, buddy? Um, I'm OK. Good? How are you? I'm good. This is the beginning? This is the beginning of the Western New York yeah. gastronomic tour. Yeah, yeah this, is, uh, this is Bar Bill. Yeah. This is my favorite roast beef and chicken wing place. OK. It's packed in here. Here we are. Bar Bill. Bill. We're in the bush right now. We're in the bush. It seems like the bush. One guy's wearing pants that look like Steven Tyler pants. You're wearing a shirt that kind of looks I'm like... I'm kind of the local. Yeah, yeah. Nice frosty mug. There we go. Yeah. I know what we're going to order, but you probably know what we're going to order as well. Definitely most well known for our roast beef. Yeah. Two regular beef. Carraway, it's got caraway seed and it's salt on it. Yeah, that one. Roast beef. Ooh. There's a little ajou juice on this side for you. Beef on wick, though. A lot of people don't know what beef on wick is. What it is, it's a top round roast yeah. that we slow roast. Mm -hmm. And you have a secret recipe, which no if I told you, then it wouldn't be secret anymore. That's it. And then um, we put it on the caraway seed and the right. salt roll. Perfect. Well, it's a beautiful sandwich. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah. This is the best beef on wick I've ever had. Western New York food? Yeah. Fantastic. I think it might be my favorite New York food. Everything's a little different, even the people. Nice. Oh, yeah. The fans are a bit different. Oh, yeah. The music fans. Yeah. You know, fandom. Like, the Buffalo Bills fans are, like, notorious. Your fans, you can't control them. Tailgating is pretty much the same thing, where everyone's chill, they're working. Working town, Buffalo. Yep. Very blue-collar city. Yeah, very blue-collar city. And then all of a sudden, they got eight games yeah. to, like, blow the f 
Yeah. yeah. If they were to win, that would like blow everyone's mind. So it's yeah. like their expectations are kind of low, so yeah. they can emphasize I on almost, maybe tailgating. I almost feel like winning would ruin it. Buffalo, you got a town of losers. Yeah. It's made for music people. There's pride, man. The next thing we gotta go to yeah. is just we gotta get a Salem's hot dog somewhere. We, get, we should do Louis. When talking Buffalo food spots, Louis is crucial. They're family run since 1951 and are known for popularizing the foot long hot dog in western New York. Uh, what would you guys have? We had two two dogs. And now were they foot longs? Foot longs, two, two foot longs. Two feet coming down. Now we do the meat sauce. The Texas sauce? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mustard onion too? Yep. Gravy. Guys, it's all right. Guys, we got y'all set. Okay. Oh my god. Look at this. This is the best thing I've ever seen. Spray on vinegar. Don't mind if I do. It's nice. Got two foot longs. Did you ever notice the small towns are where the world famous stuff is? In the big town, the world famous stuff isn't there. The food is very like typical great American city food. I, I think the outside obsession with Buffalo isn't the fact that we have anything good. Mm -hmm. Everything is just losing. Right. So like everybody kind of just looks at Buffalo and they say, oh, okay, well, this is the city that lost four Super Bowls. We're just known for losing. Yeah. over and over and over again. If you're from Buffalo or you're for Buffalo, the city backs you no matter what. Like, right. it's just one of those things where like, when the chips are down, like we still have the Goo Goo Dolls. Mm -hmm. I think the Goo Goo Dolls is one of the most underrated They're bands. Awesome. They're a phenomenal band. Used to be like a Misfits cover band, right? Yeah. Goo Goo Dolls. Yeah. No, you're facts. I feel yeah. like Buffalo is like one of those places that you actually need to know the Yo, facts. No, because you're defending it constantly. Yeah. That's, that's the reason why. We got Goo Goo Dolls. We got tailgating. One of the biggest cancer research places. One of the biggest cancer research places. <laughs> In America. In America. <laughs> I think we've just been down so much that it's like you have to find the things that you're like proud of. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Do you think that the fans, you know, they're, they're just rooting harder? Exactly. They're like not defeated. I think at this point in time, we're just waiting, like, come on, man, it's gotta be our time. Thank you for showing me the buffalo hey. that, that, that people don't get to see, you know? I'm out of here. That was a good day. It was a great day. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. We're here at Hammer's Lot. You know, I went around Buffalo, got a lot of inspiration, a lot of beautiful food out here in this all-American city. And I got inspired and I'm gonna make some chili for all the beautiful people here at the Hammers lot. And you know, there's a lot of pressure. I don't wanna let people down. I don't wanna make, you know, a bowl of dog shit. I wanna make a bowl of beautiful chili. Hey, hammer! You take a armed and hammered hammer, you got yourself a predicament if you're doing any dizzy bats, any table slams. Bills fans can get pretty crazy, but Hammer prides himself on running a lot free of extreme tailgate activities like funneling, dizzy bats, and table slamming. He's always patrolling the lot to make sure everybody's following his clearly established rules. All right, let's go down one of these rows here and see what's going on. All right, so I'm just basically going around, making sure we don't have any problems or anything like that. Oh, you got a bag, all right, thank you very much. Anyway, I generally also look see what type of crowd I have. I have a sprinkling of Jets fans, so I want to notice that, if there's any problems, anybody getting harassed. Turn around. I heard a guy in a Rivas shirt was carrying a funnel. Yeah, I already caught one guy, and I uh, had to give him the riot act. Oh, Get your ass out of here with a funnel. You're out of here. I take it very serious, all right? First off, he had the funnel. You had the funnel. I had to lay the law down. Did you see my signs that I paid $160 for? Big ass sign said no. No means no. Right? All afternoon. Yeah. People walk around funnels. That's crazy. You guys pull in. I got two signs. You didn't know, man. We're not gonna let Let, let's go over and do, uh, give you a reading lesson. No, it says right on the bottom. No exceptions. You'll get your ass kicked out. I already threw it away. Don't bring it up. Tailgaters. What the hell's your problem, man? Not in the hammer's lot. Not in the hammer's lot. Not a rapid induction of alcohol. We're here for the long haul. That's right. Let's fill out Thanks the for having me here again. You're right. welcome. God bless Glad America. God bless Hammer. He's a little scared of that knife. People seem to be real keen on what's going on in my pot over here, the Chili Lord, but I'm wondering what everyone else is cooking on the lot. While my chili boils down, I'm going to walk around and sample the competition. Woo! You gotta show them the dipper, though. Where's the dipper? The corn dipper. 
All the way in. It's water and butter. It's good. Ryan. 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 Chef Ryan. Ryan. Where, 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 where'd the venison come from? You catch this? Killed it, yeah. You killed that? Hunting in PA. Hunting PA? Yep. This yeah, is the that's, move that's right here. Hot. Yep. This is the move. You can put some pickle on it. Is this your homemade little pickle? Yeah, those are bread and butters. Oh, buddy. Let's go, Bill. Let's go, Bill. Yeah, yeah. All right. Unbelievable. Stromboli. Stromboli What's a stromboli? It's kind of like a calzone, except that we roll, roll the dough. This is the cheeseburger one. Cheeseburger on stromboli. And I, you know, so. God bless America. Uh, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? How you doing? What's up, I'm Maddie? Uh, how you guys doing? Oh, Zach. Hi, like season opener. Can't beat yeah. the season opener. This, where, this where, noon. where are you guys from? Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You're from Brooklyn? Yeah. <laughs> See the <laughs> ticket holder, drive up. So how do you guys find that, like, the importance of the tailgate versus the actual game? It's like a big family and friends. You yeah. all get together. You, you share recipes. You yeah. Because we had that long drive. Yeah. And to bring all that grill stuff, if I'm here for a week or something, you guys, You guys make up for not cooking food with the, the costume. Nobody tailgates like Buffalo. No? Is, yeah. is Buffalo, like, the number one tailgating city? So far, what we've done. Yeah, been. so far with uh, the food like, look at this. This is, and everything. This is an ocean of tailgating. They have, they have talked of moving the stadium downtown. Yeah. Orchard Park. This, the people this, like Hammer this taking care football. of this. This is what yeah. football's about. Yeah. Pinto tailgate right here, buddy. Yeah, this oh, is the yeah. move? Yeah, this is a move. This is the place yeah. to be. Kenny, Pinto yeah. Ron. Number one hammer fan, lot. Hammer's yeah. Lot, this is the place to be. He brings his Pinto over okay. here, he cooks on it. The Pinto, so just run me through this. Okay, we get the fire started now, so in about 10 minutes we can start putting the stuff on. Right. But in the pot over there, we're gonna have an army helmet nestled in there, we're gonna be cooking chicken wings, deep fried right. chicken wings. Uh, on the, uh, this grill right here, we're going to put a rake across there. We're going to be grilling hot dogs, on hamburgers, grill. sausages. We're going to put a saw blade across it, and we're going to sizzle bacon. Okay, swinging over here, we got yeah. an op we've expanded into this open area here where uh, this is here, Pizza Pete. Pizza he's my, Pete. He's my head chef. How you doing, Maddie? I'm good. How you doing? Very good. Pleased to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. So what you got here? This is this what is are you our, doing? This is a, our two-tour filing cabinet where we make homemade pizzas. Okay. The idea about having the top heat is we cook it from two directions. We have the heat inside the, the hibachi yeah. grill, and then on the top we leave charcoal. Yeah. So you cook it two dimensions oh. from top. And You're just doing like a tray-style pizza? Yeah. You guys can feed a lot of people with yeah. these, you know? Just go to your local hardware store and you can find many cooking utensils there. Well, thanks for showing me all this. I'm excited, you know, like you guys are doing stuff I've never seen before. Tailgated. Go Bills. It's about an hour before game time and everybody's lining up to try my tailgate chili. We're going to start serving some food. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> take it, someone take it. I'm, this is top notch here. Absolutely. Thank you. Go Bill! Woo! <laughs> Alright, let's have some of this good slop I've been hearing about. Alright. Hammer, baby. Hammer that down, He's FCD certified good. You good? I would say it's good. You know what you're doing. It's good? I would eat another one of these. We grew up 25 kilometers away from this spot right here. Yeah. I don't understand why you wouldn't be a Bills fan and yeah. why you wouldn't want to be here. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Love you. This is Nate. He was the best man at my wedding. He's my oldest friend. We used to build tree forts together. We used to hang out. See, he's getting those emo. OK, him. <laughs> like Where are you guys all from? Where we drive up from Long Island. You know, like, look at all the people here. You know, it is the season opener, but this is every week. Or whatever, every game, They you know? come from yeah. all over New York State Regardless and the country. Everyone's they, they coming from all over the world. The they there's Bills fans everywhere. Because there's backer bars all over the country, yeah. all over the nations, all over the global areas. Buffalo stand strong with their team regardless of economic times. Right. You have a lot of people here who have come here recently who are trying to make this city a better place. Like, people will look at Buffalo and be like, oh, that's a hard life, the economics aren't good, or the weather's not good. Yeah. But but people come out every year with hope and, and, and just the promise of a new year with Buffalo Bills. Right. And, and regardless of how the team does, 
we're here to support them. And to me, it's a working man's team. Yeah. You know, it's like the, we're always underdog. We've been losing for how long? You know what a I mean? Long time. 17, 17, 16? 17, 18 years. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? But we always come, we always show yeah. up. But you look at Buffalo, it's what we are. Yeah. We're rebuilding from the ground up. But That's you look it. what it is. It's a guy who punches a 40 hour card every week that yeah. comes here, spends his last hour to be here. That's what it's all about. It's a beautiful thing, right? in people are from all over you know the world are coming here to hammers lot win or lose no matter what and it's just like the best tailgating city in the world <laughs> thank you very much you're gonna be banned in the next day all right he's a g seriously we're gonna have to no. do this again sometime we are i'm coming yeah. back i'm gonna bring my kid i got a kid right. i'm all gonna right. start the tradition yes. you know come in here I'm gonna start the tradition for my kid. I don't know if that's good parenting. Maybe not. Who knows? He thinks it's good parenting. I don't know. No, it's anyway, good, good parenting. You guys are the best. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.